please subscribe to help you and your motorcycle perform better. So this video is going to be all about setting the bike up to the ability of the rider and or the riding style the rider has. Here's a preview. Make sure before you go through this video that you've watched the six steps to set up because that's all about setting the bike up to your weight and the suspension correctly prior to doing this step. We did the first thing. We're good. But now we got to go do this. How's that going to affect that? Because we're all unique, we are not robots, we don't have condos, helicopters, private planes, and we're not aliens that race at the world level. So we have to honor our unique differences, and that means we need to go ride and figure out what we need. So once the bike's been set up, you're gonna go on your ride. Awesome. So that will be ride number one. And in that ride, that's about the percentage ability you're going to use because you have to evaluate what you've got. You've got a new to you motorcycle. So that is going to be the discovery phase. That's going to be the annoying seven year old. So you'll go out ride on a road you know well, get a general subjective feeling for it for braking, corner entry and corner exit. And those are the three categories that we're going to work on through the video when tuning to ability. We did the test rides on this stretch of Canyon Road here in the Sierras. It's got some bumpy spots, but all in all, it's not a bad road. As you see here, I'm following a couple of other bikes. We did this in conjunction with Moss tuning these guys' bikes. The lead guy's riding a Ducati 999, and the second bike is a, a Suzuki Bandit. On this first ride, the biggest issue is that when I initiate the turn, I initiate a counter steering input, it takes a heartbeat before the bike actually begins to turn. So I had to do a bit of a timing game. I had to guess how much before I wanted the bike to turn to make the steering input. I had to make a guess, steering input, make the bike turn. Because I knew where I wanted the bike to turn, I just had to guess how much before that point I had to make the steering input. Also, the harsh ride. It was extremely harsh, especially on the back of the bike. It was just like, oh, cracking my spine. The third issue, the whole time the steering was vague. It was like the front end, you know, where is that? Is, it, is there a road there? Is there the tire actually on the road or is the tire totally up in the air? Is the tire on a cloud? Now that we're back and we've done this discovery, we can see A, how much full construct travel is used, and then we can balance the bike on rebound damping to get it perfectly stable. If we need to make changes based on travel used for preload front and rear, we can make those changes. But once that's done and rebound set, bye. Okay, so after the ride, we got on the travel, but it's really stiff. It's really harsh on the bottom. So the rear shock, as we expected from yesterday, is super soft and bouncy. When we did the six step setup to rider weight. So we're gonna tighten up the rear shock with rebound and compression. So we are at That's what they used to call the nine. Yeah. So one, two, three, four. Oh, let's see, we're back at five where the bike came to us. Then we're going to add two rebounds. One, two, three, four, seven, five. So that's nice, it's a little firmer. The front end on rebound is moving nicely. And there's some harshness and we left the compression halfway. So I'm going to grab a 14 while you suit up and take four turns of preload out. For test ride number four, I am following the guy on the Ducati again, except this is his other Ducati. And uh, so now it just turns right where it's supposed to go and st stays on its line. I 
I actually like the bike now. I thought it was a pile of shit when I first got on it. Well, you would. That's just your nature. <laughs> All right, so I'll suit up and give it a run. I'm considerably heavier than Dave. So 175 to 215. This is the setting he prefers. I've gone ahead and zeroed out the cable tie. And we'll see how this feels. I've not ridden this bike before at all. Naturally, test ride number six is going to be the best of the test rides. Catch the full video at DaveMossTuning.com. Dave Moss can tune your suspension no matter where you are on the planet via his remote tuning service. Contact Dave on Facebook or by email, Dave at DaveMossTuning.com.